welcome to another video. The, the series of videos is made. I'm making the series of videos, sorry, to help the disabled community and others that are interested in some of the things that we have to go through. This video is a little different. I am, my name is Leonard. I have cerebral palsy. That is a brain injury from birth. The way it manifests for me is I walk with a walker and use a wheelchair for quickness and distance. I can walk short distances. In my house, I don't need a wheelchair. I get go in and out of the bathroom, etc. I do what I need to do. Sometimes I, for example, sometimes I need to sit down to get to get something or to pick up something off the floor, etc. But normally I can just walk around and do, do what I need to do. I have to be careful when I'm holding something, for example, because then I have to grab my walker in a different way that is not as secure as, as the way I regularly grab it. I have a four-legged walker. Some people have a um, wheeled walker. I can I don't have enough balance to deal with a wheeled walker. I used a K walker at one point, which meant I was using it. I was using a wheeled walker with uh, rear legs to with a walker behind me, but the doctor decided to change to change the walker back to a regular one. Now let me explain the differences between myself and two people that I will not name because I don't have their permission to name them. One friend of mine has cerebral palsy himself. All he has is is a small limp. He walks around, drives, etc. I have another friend of mine that is confined. Let me say the word confined. I even though I don't like that word, I know I don't know what word to use in a walk in a wheelchair. He he is is unable to bathe, which I am able to do. He he needs a lot of assistance. He needs assistance feeding himself. And um, he's very, very spastic and talks very strangely, very weird and uh, very, very difficult to deal with, hear and understand. But I also say he's very, very smart, works a computer with one finger. And so those are the differences between my disability and the cerebral palsy. I don't let cerebral palsy stop me. I do a lot of things for the community. I'm not going to mention here because it is a long list of things. One thing I will say here is I do volunteer for the Red Cross and I do, I also do um, amateur radio testing and, and I help the community where I can. I've actually hadn't had the opportunity to work a hurricane disaster uh, for the Red Cross. They, we called those um, DRs and it, it was a very fulfilling and fulfilling um, it was a very fulfilling thing to be able to go out there in the community and just do my job, get it done, get everything done. I fed I don't know how many, I don't remember how many people out of an IRV. The reason I can discuss this one is because it's in the past and I feel that, and I feel that that's fine. Uh, I, st I again, do I still do volunteer work for the Red Cross, but at this point I will not mention what I'm doing because I cannot. I don't know um, whether I should or could due to legal due to uh, internal reasons and or legal reasons I don't know if I can mention what I'm doing but I will I but I will ask permission to do so another thing that I do I have, I have done before is I've worked inside the EOC Emergency Operations Center as an operator of amateur radio which that is also something I do so I'm just telling you this. I don't let this, I don't let this disorder, this brain injury stop me from doing things. 
Another thing that I'm going to mention is that my voice is clear. My voice is normal. I am lucky because a lot of people with the dis with this type of disability can't speak as well, can't speak as clearly. And um, I'll tell you, um, to be an amateur radio operator, I cannot, I will not, I cannot uh, imagine being a being very spastic to speak is very difficult. So, um, I was here to tell you these things because I want you to know what we, what we as disabled people can do in this community. I hope that this little bit of tidbit about me personally helps you and in understanding the level of um, disability that differs greatly. Just because you're in a wheelchair does not mean you can't speak. I speak well, as you, as you can see. I might stutter because I forget what I'm to say, but I speak very, very well. I can and have run major, major hurricane disasters. And it's fine. I've worked major, major disasters. And it's fine. I do my job. I do what I need to do. And it is something that I enjoy doing. I, I'm a volunteer, but I do what I need to do to get things done. I don't let this thing stop me. With that, thank you for watching. I would really would appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my videos. It really helps my algorithm.